Hi everyone, welcome to Frame Academy Project 4, adding interactivity to your WebXR sites with JavaScript. Now you don't need to know any JavaScript before you tackle this project. I'm going to give you a very gentle uh, introduction so that I can get you started. We're going to be learning about something called WebXR, which is a way for you to create immersive websites that run on desktop, mobile, uh, or VR headsets. Uh, each part of this project has a, uh, a challenge at the end of it, and it's by doing those challenges that you really put your new uh, knowledge and skills to the test as you kind of create and enhance your own WebXR project. So I encourage you to take them seriously because what you put into them will be uh, what you end up with at the end of the project. Um, although I said you don't need to know any JavaScript, it would be very helpful if you go through uh, Frame Academy projects one, two, and three. Uh, before you tackle this project here, because they provide all the um, all the kind of setup and background information that you need that'll help you uh, kind of take it further with this project. If you have any questions or ideas or concerns as you are working your way through this or any other Frame Academy project, you can ask on our online community, kind of a growing community of uh, teachers and students who are taking these projects, and you can find a link to that uh, either below this video or on any of the uh, Frame Academy pages, there's an orange button on the top left that you can click that also has a quick link to the online community. Finally, when you're done, I hope that you share your WebXR site to the Frame Gallery. It's a place where I'm going to be kind of gathering our work for those that want to share it so that we have an easy place to find it and uh, check it out and learn from it. Finally, if you are curious to learn more about Frame Academy, feel free to shoot an email to uh, hello at framevr.io. All right, with all that said, just scroll down to get started with part one.